Good morning, little mathematician. Are you excited to know our new lesson? I am Teacher Suriel, and you are watching Deep Ed MP TV. Have you ever wondered how a carpenter solved for the area of a furniture he is making? Example, a round table or a cabinet. Don't worry, because that is our lesson. Today, we are going to learn how to find the area of a circle and semicircle. So prepare your pen, notebook, together with your module, because we are about to start. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's find out how much do you know about finding the area of a circle and semicircle. Let us answer the pretest. The direction, copy the letter of the correct answer. Here are the questions. Number one, to get the area of a circle, what formula are we going to use? A, area is equal to length times the width. B, area is equal to side times side. C, area is equal to pi times radius squared. D, area is equal to pi times radius. <coughs> 2. What is the formula to get the area of a semicircle? A, area is equal to length times width divided by 2. B. Area is equal to pi times the square of radius divided by 2. C. Area is equal to B1 plus B2 divided by 2. D. Area is equal to pi times diameter divided by 2. Three. If diameter was given in the circle, what should you do first to get the radius? A. Multiply the diameter into 2 B. Divide the diameter into 2 C. Add 2 to the diameter D. Subtract 2 from the diameter Four, what is the area of a round table with a radius of 40 cm? A. 5,024 cm square B. 1,600 cm square C. 2,405 cm square D. 251 and 2 tenths centimeter square. Five. What is the area of a semicircle with a diameter of 12 decimeter? A. 452 and 16 hundredths decimeter square. B. 16 and 452 thousandths decimeter square C 113 and 400 decimeter square D 4 and 113 thousandths decimeter square Now let us check your answer for number one c number two b number three b number four a number five c how many did you get did you get all five or four if so this is for you did you get 
one, two, or three? Don't worry. It means that you need more help to understand our lesson. And I am here to guide you. We discussed in our previous lesson that area is a space occupied by a flat shape or surface of an object. For example, the dice and the wall clock occupied space. To find the area of an object, there are formulas to follow and understand. In solving the area of a circle and semicircle, the following are the formulas to follow. For a circle, area is equal to pi multiplied to a radius squared. For semicircle, area is equal to pi multiplied to a radius squared divided by 2, where Pi is a constant value which is 3 and 14 hundredths divided by 2 to a semicircle because it is a half circle. The area is always expressed in square units based on the units used for the radius. Example, centimeter square meter square, decimeter square, and so on. Let us take a look on the following examples. We have a dartboard and a circle. The dartboard has a radius of 12 cm. Follow the formula, which is area is equal to pi times radius squared. So, pi is equal to 3 and 14 hundredths times radius squared, which is 12 times 12. Following the gemdas, which was our lesson in the last quarter, we are going to solve first what was group or with exponent. So, we are going to multiply the radius before multiplying to the value of pi. Area is equal to 452 and 1600 centimeter square. For number 2, what was given in the circle was the diameter. So what shall we do since the formula needed the radius? We divide first the diameter into 2 to get the radius which is 4 decimeter. Then proceed to the formula, translate the formula, multiply first what was group, which is the radius, and then multiply to the pi, which is 3 and 14. We come up with the area, which is 50 and 24 hundredths decimeter square. Luya loves mathematics. He loves to solve problems. One day, his friend gave him an orange fruit. He slices it into two. He wants to know the area of the half orange. So he got a ruler and measured the radius of the orange fruit. Radius is equal to 3 cm. It was their lesson in Math 6. How to get the area of the circle. So he followed the formula which is pi times radius squared, translated the formula, he solved first for the radius before multiplying it to the value of pi. And then he arrived with the area which is 28 and 26 hundredths centimeter squared. Let us check your understanding in our lesson. Let us answer the following. 
Number one, I bought a pan of pizza which has a diameter of 32 centimeter. Can you help me find the area of this pizza? I'll be giving you 10 seconds to answer this activity. Number two, find the area of semicircle round your answer to the nearest hundreds. Let's check if you get it right. Number one, area is equal to 803 and 84 hundredths squared centimeter. Is your answer correct? Very good. So let us discuss. Since the given is diameter, we are going to divide it into 2 to get its radius. 32 divided by 2 is equal to 16. So the radius is 16. Then write the formula which is pi times the radius squared. And then translate 3 and 14 hundredths times the squared of 16 to come up with the answer which is 803 and 84 hundred centimeter square for number two area is equal to 141 and 69 hundredths decimeter square where diameter was given in number two so the same as number one we are going to divide into two to get its radius then proceed to the formula translate the formula so three and fourteen hundredths times the squared of 9 and 5 tenths decimeter divide it by 2 to come up with the answer which is 141 and 692 thousands squared decimeter I said that we are going to round to the nearest hundreds so your final answer is 141 and 69 hundreds squared decimeter are your answers in number one and two correct great if you get the two correct answers if not you still have your activity two and three in your module for more exercises to practice after this video you may play this video again listen carefully and follow our step-by-step -step discussion let us check what you have learned fill in the correct word to complete the paragraph how do we find the area of a circle and semicircle choose your answer from the choices below you will be given time to read and answer this activity let us check your answers number one d given two e radius 3. A. Formula 
4. C. Sol. 5. B. Unique. 6. F. 2. Did you get them all? If you got 6, you will receive if you got four to five, you receive. If you got three, you scored one or two. Do not worry because you need more exercises for you to master the lesson. Don't lose hope. Instead, keep on trying to solve until you get the right answer. What are the importance of finding the area of circle and semicircle in our daily life? 1. To know the exact wrapper to use if you are wrapping a circular gift so that you will not waste your wrapper. 2. It is helpful in doing your school projects like wall clocks or designing a circular garden. 3. To know how many small circles occupying another bigger circle. And 4. It is applicable in making logo of our school uniforms. Do you want more exercises? Do you enjoy our lesson? For you to master our lesson, solve for the area of the following circle. Show your solution in your module and encircle your answer. I will be giving you time to answer and solve each number. Number 1. A bicycle wheel has a radius of 3 decimeter. What is the area of the wheel? A. 26 and 28 hundredths decimeter square. B. 28 and 26 hundredths decimeter. C. 14 and 13 hundredths decimeter square. D. 28 and 26 hundredths decimeter square the answer is letter D 28 and 26 hundredths decimeter square Two, find the area of a semicircle with a radius of 6 meter. A. 56 and 52 hundredths meter square. B. 36 meter square. C. 28 and 16 hundredths meter square. D. 113 and 4 hundredths meter square. The answer is letter A. 56 and 52 hundredths meter square. What is the area of a plate with a diameter of 3 dm? Round your answer to the nearest hundredths. A. 3 and 54 hundredths dm square. B. 7 and 7 hundredths dm square. C. 14 and 14 hundredths decimeter square D 
D two and twenty five hundredths decimeter square. The answer is B seven and seven hundredths decimeter square. Four to five. There are two pans of pizza on the table with the same size. What is the total area of the two pans of pizza if they have a radius of 18 centimeter? A. 1017 and 3600 centimeter square. B. 508 and 6800 centimeter square. C. 2034 and 7200 centimeter square. D. 324 centimeter square. The answer is letter C, 2034 and 72 hundredths centimeter square. Did you get it right? Or did you come up with letter A as your answer? You are partly correct, but that is the area of one pun only. You have to multiply your answer by 2 because the question is the total area of the two pants. Count your score. Did you get 4 and 5? Great! I am glad that you understood our lesson. Did you get 1, 2, or 3? Don't be sad. Instead, keep on trying to solve until you arrive with the correct answer. You may play this video again to understand better. You can do it! Just have the spirit of eagerness to learn and positive attitude to understand the lesson. For your additional activity, do this in your module. You can write them and show your solution in your module. Very good, little mathematician. You've done a great job. See you next lesson. Bye.